guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I thought it would be fun to share a little prep video. It is currently Wednesday night at four o'clock and I work the next two days. So I'm gonna be getting my meals together for the next few days and I am gonna be setting out my scrubs and getting everything ready for the week. So I kind of thought I would just share you guys like a little night in my life. I've had the last three days off, which has been so nice. I've been able to catch up on some of my homework for NP school and yeah, it's been pretty good. I'm gonna prep my breakfasts. So I really have been into, I saw this on TikTok, it was these breakfast sandwiches. So I got all the supplies to be able to do that. So I thought I would share with you guys what I like to do for my breakfast sandwiches and then make them and we'll go from there. Now these are my absolute favorite English muffins that I like to use with the breakfast sandwiches. And these are the Thomas Multigrain 100 calorie breakfast sandwich English muffin things and I really love those and then for my breakfast sandwiches I generally like to have just sausage egg and cheese so I just have some pasture raised eggs here and then um, this is the cheese that I generally like to use the Colby Jack just round sliced ones but I only have one piece left so I'm gonna try to use some shredded cheese just so I can use the rest of this up and then for the sausage I just have some breakfast sausage here from Johnsonville I mean it doesn't really matter what kind I do like to get the patties and I get the pack of eight I do find that just the one patty is a little bit small so I like to take two of the patties and put them together and then cook them on the stove and I'm gonna go ahead and get everything going because it takes a little bit and I will show you guys all of what I do. I'm gonna start out with just prepping the pans with this coconut oil spray. I find this to be so easy and quick and it's my favorite. It's from Trader Joe's. I think the thing I love most about these breakfasts is that they really don't take me too long at all to prep. Um, and they're super quick and easy, like I've said. Um, it's really up to my morning routine so much by just having breakfast already ready. So these are the patties that I like to use. Um, I go ahead and I take two of the patties like this and I just kind of mush them together and when I do that I also try to like flatten it out a bit so that it'll cook faster and it will also be a little bit more fitted to the English muffin. And then once I do that, I will just lay it on the pan. I actually should probably turn that on already, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them. I've got the patties all ready to go, so I'm just gonna turn the burner on. I'm probably gonna do like six because I don't want them to cook too fast because I really want them to cook throughout. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the top on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the top on these and kind of let them cook over the next few minutes. I will take a peek on them. The next thing I'm probably gonna do is go ahead and get the English muffins cooking. Just went ahead and took the tops of the English muffins and put them in here. I had the one piece of cheese and then I just took some shredded cheese on the other ones. I'm hoping this doesn't turn out to be an absolute mess, but we shall see. So I'm gonna put these on 400 degrees for three minutes and they cook so fast. And then I will also cook the other four bottoms as soon as these ones are done. Now that we've got the sausage going and the English muffins, I'm gonna go ahead and just start prepping the eggs. I like to use four eggs, so for the four sandwiches, each one has its own egg. I'm just gonna, oh shoot, jeez. I'm gonna take these one by one and put those in there. Once we've got all eggs cracked, I'm gonna go ahead and just take some almond milk because this is what I have, but any sort of milk really works. I'm gonna take a little bit there and put it in the eggs just so that they are a little bit creamier. I actually used sweet cream the last two weeks. It works just as well. So, I mean, you can use whatever you want. You can use whole milk. I just have almond milk, so that's why I'm using it. And I'm just gonna whisk these eggs together. These may look a little gross right now, but I promise they taste so good. So I just took the tops with the cheese outside of the air fryer, and then I'm gonna put the sausage on top because it just finished. We're just gonna take each of the sausages, put them on top. They're a little toasty on top. They cooked seriously so fast, but honestly, I'm fine with it. Next one here. 
And then we're just gonna cook the eggs. I didn't have time to cook it before they finished because they cooked so fast. So we're gonna cook those and put them on top. So the seasonings, I'm just gonna add is some garlic salt first, just because I feel like it adds a little bit of flavor. Just do a little bit there throughout the entire thing. Then I'm also gonna take some pepper here. This is my favorite pepper from Trader Joe's and just sprinkle a little bit of that. Now, some people might also add salt, but because the garlic salt already has salt in it, I don't add any more, but my favorite salt to use, if I am going to use salt of any kind, is the pink Himalayan salt from Trader Joe's. Right here, this one it works really good too, so if you want an extra little bit of salt, will not focus geez so we're just gonna let this cook a little bit more the tops of the English muffins are done now so we're gonna keep those off to the side and then as soon as these are done we will cut them up into fours and then put them on top of the sandwiches now that the egg is pretty much completely cooked on the one side I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up all the edges so that it's easier to flip I am NOT the best at flipping this in all honesty so I usually that may sound like a waste, but I cook the first side in this pan and then I will flip it over into this one just because I find it so much easier to be able to get it flipped. So now that the whole thing is loosened up, I'm just gonna go super quickly. Let's see if I can do this right, I'm like so scared. Let's get this out of the way. Just gonna flip it onto that side. Ooh, that one actually turned out pretty good. A little bit came out the sides, but not bad. I just cannot figure out this angle with it being pointed down like this, so I apologize. But the eggs are done, so I'm going to go ahead and add them on top. Now the egg may be a little bit large for the actual sandwich, but I just usually just break it up if I need to. Let's put this one here. So as you can see, it kind of flops over the side, so I'll usually just like trim it up a little bit. This one is huge, oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely not perfect, but they will do. All right, now that all the sandwiches are done, I'm just gonna put the tops on each of them. They're seriously so delicious, I swear. I love them. And then, like I said, I will usually just kind of break off the egg a little bit. That needs to come off. Sometimes I just leave it, to be honest. Um, it usually ends up, ooh, that's hot, falling off anyways. But here are the breakfast sandwiches. They seriously turned out so good. I feel like they are way better than the Starbucks ones. I used to go to Starbucks all the time and get this turkey sausage and cheddar one and my stomach hurts so bad. I get it sometimes if I'm like in a rush. These just have minimized my stomach problems so much and I don't know if it's just because I make them at home and I get different ingredients and it's not as processed. Obviously it's still not the best for you but I feel like it's a great source of protein in the morning and sometimes when I get to work, I don't have a lot of time to eat before it's time to go and deliver babies. So I'm gonna put these into little aluminum foil wraps and then I put them in the fridge and then I have four breakfasts for the week. I decided that I think I'm gonna make some of these protein packed muffins as well, just so I have something quick for the week. Ooh. Um, I find that when I am working at my 12 hour shifts in a row, the best and most amazing thing is when I have quick things to grab to eat and I feel like when I prepare my food ahead of time, I am just way more prepared and I just have a better stretch of shifts and I honestly have been doing this for the last few months now and it's just made such a difference i used to meal prep all the time my meals or at least my dinners when i worked night shift and now i've been doing it for breakfasts not just lunches and it's just made such a difference i feel like and like i said i also just feel like it challenges me to eat better and overall just makes me feel better so we're gonna make some of these little muffins just because I have a few things that I'm really trying to get rid of. I'm really trying to like clear out my fridge and my pantry so that I can start fresh. I absolutely hate wasting food, so if there's anything I can do and if I bought something and I need to cook it, then I will. So I've had two packs of this protein muffin mix in my pantry since I moved in like six months ago and it's still not expired, but I don't want it to expire, so we're just going to 
make them today so I have them for the week. Okay, just finished putting them all into the little muffin tin and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the oven here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is hot. Ouch. All right, I'm gonna have to do this, I think, off camera. Let's see. What It says cook them for 15 minutes, so we'll check on them then. Okay, another thing I wanted to share. I wanted to show you guys this fun little recipe for some doggy treats. I actually saw it on one of my good friends who used to be my lash artist. I saw it on her Instagram, and it's like these frozen treats that you make for your dog. Um, I got like the little things off of Amazon. If I can find something similar, I'll link them. These ones are super small. I would definitely not recommend getting the super tiny little fillers just because they're so hard to fill. As you can see, I've made a huge mess, but what you do is you just take some watermelon, plain Greek yogurt, and honey, and you mix it all together. So I did that in the blender. So I just poured them into the ice cube trays and I've actually already got two in right now. I'm so excited to see if he likes them. He does love watermelon, so I put them in here and we're gonna see what he thinks. Um, I think it's like just like a fun little thing for your dogs to have and it's super sweet and I just figured I'd share because it's getting to that time of year where it's super hot outside and it's just like a fun little treat for um, the little pups to have so yeah I'm excited to see I will share with you guys once they're frozen what Brady thinks of them because he hasn't tried them just yet but I'm sure he's gonna love them because he loves watermelon wanted to share with you guys a couple other things that I'm getting prepped. I just cut up these sweet potatoes and just put some garlic salt on them as well as some olive oil. And I'm gonna cook them for probably like 20 to 25 minutes. And I like my sweet potatoes super crispy, so we're gonna do those for like our starch this week. And then I also have over here some mahi mahi i've never tried mahi mahi before but i'm really excited to give it a go and i have three pieces in here just unthawing um, i'm going to probably try and cook it in the air fryer and then i'm going to do for my greens this week some arugula tossed with some avocado oil and salt and pepper just went ahead and changed my shirt because brady and i are going to go on a little stroll outside you just heard me say it he's <laughs> watching me we worked with our trainer today, so we're gonna go try some of the new skills that she wants us to work on. And then I wanted to also show you guys, I just finished the sweet potatoes. They turned out so good and they taste absolutely delicious. I like my sweet potatoes to be a little bit more crispy than normal. Um, so that's why I keep them in there for a little bit longer. And then I also thought I would share with you guys this little seasoning recipe that I just made. I found it just on Google actually. It is for the Mahi Mahi and it is I think it's cayenne pepper, paprika, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, and then I didn't have any thyme, um, so I just kind of went without it. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this on the Mahi Mahi. It's still um, unthawing as we speak, so we're gonna go ahead and do our nightly walk and then hopefully cook that when I get back. I forgot to show you guys my dinner before I started eating it, but I made the Mahi Mahi, some sweet potatoes, and then some arugula tossed with avocado oil lemon juice and salt and pepper and it's seriously so good i would say the mahi masi is very very spicy i think i did a little bit too much cayenne pepper and paprika i still can't get it down but it's definitely burning my taste buds quite a bit super happy with this and how it turned out brady and i just went on our walk and he did absolutely phenomenal with our training you're such a good boy i just love his little face so much you're the cutest. In a little bit, we're gonna go out with a friend and go to the park, okay? Do you wanna go to the park? Yes. I just finished taking Brady down to the park to play with his little friend, and so I wanted to show you guys, I actually just took a shower too, I guess I should mention that as well. I wanted to show you guys some of the products that have been like my go-to um, in my night routine. I feel like I finally have developed a little bit of a skincare routine. It's not perfect and it's not like super complex, which I really like because that is just the most realistic for me. So I wanted to show you guys the three products that I use on an every evening basis um, before I go to bed and they just work really good for me. I may or may not have mentioned some of these already before. My go-to for my lashes is the Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum and I truly can say that I have noticed such a difference since I started using this. I've been using this for probably three years now off and on and I really do feel like um, when I use it consistently 
The only time I really don't use it consistently is when I run out of a tube and then like I wait two weeks to go to Sephora to get it. But when I do have it, I use it every single evening and I just feel like it works so well. And it's getting to that time of year in Arizona where my skin is so dry because we live in a state that's just such a dry state, I guess you could say. So the next product that I actually put on my Christmas list and got for Christmas and absolutely have been loving, used it every single day since, is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I also really love, and this has been my all-time favorite, the go-to is um, the First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. I feel like the combination of the two of these together just works so well, so I'll usually go ahead and put the First Aid Beauty one on first, just allowing it to kind of like soak in. It definitely is moisturizing, but I feel like I just have such dry skin during the summer springtime here that i need like an extra layer of that and i just feel like the jet lag mask helps with that so much so after i've put on the first aid beauty i'll just put a little bit of this on and i also always make sure to run it down my neck just to prevent those premature wrinkles pretty much all i use for moisturizer um on an everyday basis i love it so much i feel like my routine is pretty simple but it's realistic and it works really well for me. Um, I would say that I have, I've been told I have like normal skin. I don't have a lot of problems with acne. I'm very grateful for, I have been on birth control for gosh, six years now, which I know that there's a lot of um, different opinions about that, but I do feel like that has contributed to my skin being the way that it has been. The last thing I wanted to mention was just this Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is an oldie but a goodie. I just started using it recently, probably within the last six months, um, but I know it's been around for a really long time and I love it so much. I don't really know if it makes like a huge difference. I do say that I notice it maybe a little bit, but I would honestly have to say it just feels so nice underneath the eyes that I use it on an everyday basis for that. And then the last product I guess I could mention that I use every evening before I go to bed, my all-time favorite, I've been using this for two years, is the Laneige Lip Mask. My favorite scent is the vanilla one, so that is the one that I use every single evening. I've had the strawberry or the pink one as well, I don't know if it's actually strawberry, but that one's good. There's just nothing better than this vanilla one though, so... I'm always going to probably use that one. And now I look like a shiny grease ball. But I'm all moisturized and ready for bed. And I'm going to honestly, I think, have one of my protein muffins. They're so good. I had two earlier. I've already eaten like a third of them. But I'm going to go ahead and probably have one of my protein muffins. And then go ahead and brush my teeth and get ready for bed wanted to share with you guys the last couple things that i set out before i go to bed at night just because i like to make my morning routine as simple as possible so i've already got my keys and my wallet loaded up in here brady's food because he always goes to my mom's house and then i've got all of my snacks ready to go as well as my water bottle and my badge like literally anything i can do to make this simpler i do and then in the fridge we just have my breakfast sandwich, my lunch, and then the salad that I made. So I'm already set to go there. And then the last thing that I like to do is just lay out my scrubs. So scrubs are hanging up here as well as my sports bra and my shoes with my socks. So like I said, I truly lay out absolutely everything so I don't miss anything in the morning and it just makes my routine so much faster and I get to sleep in a little bit longer, which is so nice. I think I'm going to officially end this vlog off here for the evening just because it's 9.30. I'm gonna brush my teeth and definitely get into bed because I am so tired. We had such a fun-filled day. Brady and I worked on our training. And yeah, um, I might pick this up in the morning. I'm not really sure just yet, but I figured if I have time, I'll show you guys a little bit of my morning. It's usually pretty hectic, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm.